Hello and welcome to Tanzania TV. I am Dave and this is Amo Agustino. Today we are to talk about the day in my friend Ronan. Ronan. The day, uh, yeah, the sleep was good. Uh, yeah. 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 Just speak a bit louder into the microphone. <coughs> the, the sleep was good. Tanzania and Ireland love each other. Yeah, I love each other. I love Tanzania. Good, 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 good. Ah, hello everybody and welcome to Life of Dave. So today is essentially my first ever vlog. My name is David O'Boyle. I am 23 years old and I'm from a town called Drada in Ireland. Believe it or not, I'm just back from a trip to Tanzania with a fantastic NGO called Developing Perspectives. Now no, Tanzania is not in Brazil and it's not Tasmania in Australia. It's a beautiful country with a population of 44 million people on the east coast of Africa. So we spent our first week in an organization called UV Kuta, which is based near the city of Dar es Salaam, which essentially has the same population of Ireland, which is crazy to think about. The crack was 90. Hello everybody, my name is Dave and this is Tino. And today we are going to sneak up on the Irish and Tanzanian participants of Inside 2016. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, lead the way. Let's go, 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 go. I'm, I'm happy to, to be with you guys okay. from Irish. Yeah. yeah, the day is great. Hello everybody. I'm here with the region team. I've got myself and Sean. Sean? Sean region. Sean region. Yeah. Sean. Konasa will do. Gamal. Konasa Tatu. Konasa Tatu. Oh, Gamal Sean. Plancha. Gurumal good. Nyahamba Changa. Hmm, what were we doing over there? That's a good question. Essentially, what we were doing is we were looking at the root causes of poverty, inequality, and climate change through experiential learning. What's our experiential I can't even say it. What's experiential learning? It's essentially learning through experience. It's all been great. I've loved it. Everyone is very friendly. So can you describe what you're doing here? Yeah, just mopping this mopping. because the house was very dirty, so wow. I just want to mop it so that it can be clean. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. She's running away from the monkeys. Run, dude. Quick synopsis, about 15 Irish participants went over to Tanzania and we lived and we worked with a group of about 15 Tanzanians for over 3 weeks. What we did is we immersed ourselves in the Tanzanian world, in the Tanzanian culture and we experienced it firsthand through the eyes of the Tanzanians. And I believe that this is the way that you can make a change back at home, back in Ireland and a change across the world. Because by doing something like this, you take yourself out of the shell and the bubble that we live in. So, on the other hand of Tanzania being quite an impoverished country and a developing country, it's one of the most beautiful countries that I've ever been in, with the most beautiful people. They're full of soul, full of creativity and full of positivity, and they work together as a team. We are changing ideas, sharing ideas, okay. uh, in order to make things good. I love you so much, okay. guys. I love so you guys. I'm sorry. Awesome. Cleaning the dishes. So this is our walk back to our house. The monkeys are after. Will they get her? Time will tell my friends. The meditation was great I have to say really really good. Thank you Ben. Ladies and gentlemen I am going to sneak up on the Rose of Tralee but here she's known as the Rose of Tanzania. So shh shh there she is with a book. Oh, oh. hello there David. Alicia how are you? I'm great, how are you keeping? I'm great, how are you finding Tanzania? I'm finding it absolutely amazing, really loving it. So I suppose the whole point of insight is to learn from each other. So the Irish went over and we were learning from the Tanzanians and the Tanzanians were there to learn from the Irish. And through doing this, through opening up your mind, through opening up your perspectives, your opinions, you can challenge yourself in order to see what the world can be like in a different way. Because I feel like when you live in somewhere like Ireland, even somewhere like Tanzania, you fall into the root of just living. You just exist. You do your thing, you do your thing, and that's it. Whereas the whole point of insight I feel for myself is I lifted myself up above the world and I seen how the puppetry works. Why is there poverty here? Why is there inequality there? What are the root problems here, there, there, there? It's mind boggling. But by doing something like this and immersing yourself in a completely different world, you can see what the problems are at home what the benefits are at home, and you can appreciate exactly what you have at home. Bimwe Jarash! After that then we spent two weeks in Kilimanjaro and it was freezing. So, we felt at home. Uh, 
It's a cold, wet day in Kilimanjaro and we're on our way to do some community work. We're gonna build stoves for people in need. And I'm here with my good friend, Sean. Yeah. Oh. What have you learned the most? Things that they learn? Yeah. Oh, teamwork. Teamwork, good man. The Irish language? Yeah. So, diagwitch, Sean. Diagwitch. Kona satatu. Grandma. Falcha. Mira bukas. Ain't a gain to gain. This is our little garden. This is the front of the house that we're staying in. So this is where we do our washing. When we come outside here, I'm just after doing the cleaning up. There's Josh. And this is our toilet. Five star luxury right there. We'll just zoom in. And if you come on into our ensuite, this is our shower. So we've got our bucket. And that concludes our tour of the house. We'll see you next time, Quibs. The local shop is there, you can pick up your little bits and bobs, like your everything really. Mambo is the hair salon, there is the bar. Oh, there's the butchers there. Nice bit of meat. Just like home, very nice. There is the local church. It's huge. Liza, how are you on this beautiful cold day? I'm fine, but I'm feeling cold. You're feeling cold and... It's nippy. It's nippy and... Very nippy. You like working with the Irish people? I love working with the Irish. Yeah. Amazing people. Thank you, thank you. In the Kilimanjaro region, and no, I didn't climb the mountain, but I was on the footsteps of it. We work in different work camps, which engage the local community. So for example, we planted a whole new tree nursery, which was amazing. At the same time then, we were also building stone. So this is the tree nursery that we have constructed probably about 1,000 little plants that will eventually grow into those huge, big trees. Go on, Sam, keep up the good work. This is the stove that we built. I'm learning loads about myself, I'm learning loads about culture and about Africa and stuff that I never knew. One day left in Tanzania, I suppose the last week has been tough it's because we've moved to Kilimanjaro this beautiful place here but I love it because I'm with all these brilliant people so last night we did culture night it was really good so essentially we just portrayed what Ireland 2016 is like with its culture history and it was really good we did through poems acting singing and audience participation so it was absolutely amazing what did you think about last night culture night very, very, very big show. Very big show. Are you enjoying your inside program? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Love you. He was a wise man. You're a wise man? Yeah, wise man. You're a good one, man. Yeah. Sir, you thank are. you for a great good. experience with you. I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. There'll be plenty more to come and stay tuned.